Hello class! Today we're gonna learn how to draw abominable snowman. And as you can see, we have some student examples. This is by our Michaela. She's a very talented artist. And so is Jaden in our first day's class. Uh, completely precious. So I made another video of, on how to put a glitter onto your amazing abominable snowman <laughs> monster abominable monsters um but yeti uh, you can call him yeti it's the same thing so but as you can see the beautiful children's artwork already with the glitter that we're gonna put afterwards is just wonderful so we made some fun abominable snowmen and Let's get started how to draw them. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna do is how about we measure about four fingers from the top and do that there. Because we want some negative space so that when our Yeti is catching all the snowflakes up here and his arms are raised, we have some space there. We have some negative space, okay? If you put it too close, you will have no space left here, even though he is still adorable to catch some snowflakes. So we want to have some space left for our cute little adorable snowman. After that, so I put about four fingers and mine's a big, so yours about five maybe, okay, from the top of the paper. So... Now, when you're ready, you're gonna put Mikaela's here as an inspiration. Okay, when you're ready, what we're going to do, I'll put both of them here. That way you can see both and get inspired. Even from Michael. There's one from Nashla that is also really good. Okay, I hope you can get inspired by that one as well. Okay, so right now, we have the four fingers from the top. And first thing we're gonna do is put some hair. And I, I did like an M, like a McDonald's signs, but I put three zigzag lines, okay? Like right there. That's gonna be the top of his head, okay? So that's our top. And then we're just gonna do a little top of his head, going down on both sides. And then choose where his eyes go, okay? So I'm going to put them like in the middle and kind of po pointing up as if he's looking up. He's looking up on those snowflakes. And I'm just doing my snowman Yeti eyes all the way up, kind of putting them up, looking up right there. He's also kind of older, so I'm going to give him, give him some wrinkles. And he is in the snow, so his skin is very rough. So I'm going to add more wrinkles for that. And then I'm going to give him some more hair because he's he has a lot of fur to keep him warm. And I'm going to go around like this, giving him a little bit like a long eyebrow. And from here, I'm going to connect an ear next to the eyes and on the other side next to the eyes I'm going to connect the other ear just so and if you forget to put an ear that's fine that's fine if you don't like to put an ear that's fine then my my nose is going to be looking up like this with the nostrils so I can see them my nose is going to be looking up and it's just an upside down you and then you can put like a little line for a big smile and if you like add some mustache some zigzag on top of that line and then you're gonna make a smiley face going down and make another smiley face underneath it going down too so from the inside lip, you're going to add some teeth, 
some more button teeth like that and then just go ahead and make a little tongue I make mine a little wavy in the middle I hope you can see it so I'm gonna put it closer so far so I did the teeth oops I did the teeth here one and two the big ones then a couple of little zigzags for the small ones and I gave him a little tongue okay so next just this maybe I can lay it on top so it's not doing that okay that's much better okay now I'm going to add to him like a big beer we're kind of like going zigzaggy this way but if you don't want a beard and you want his body to just disappear, his beard disappear into his fur on the bottom of his body, trunk, that's fine. You don't have to give him beard if you don't want to. I'm going to now continue with the beard around and I'm going to give him more hair on top, like a pointy head on top. And I'm going to go over the line I made here. I'm going to make more, more zigzaggy lines and make them longer his head is kind of pointy it's sort of like the longest in this area and go over those zigzaggy lines just like so okay now the next step we're going to do is we're going to draw the arms so I'm going to pre-sketch them with a single line going up. Okay, and now I'm going to do a few little zigzags here, like so. So it's like a curved line, just a little zigzag here and there. Then the same thing on the bottom. You want to make it um, coming down curved a little bit. Okay. It's skinnier where the arms are and a little bigger on the bottom. And go ahead and add a little fur zigzags. Okay. At this time, we are going to add cute little claws. These ones are absolutely adorable. And this student did such a wonderful job, a first grade student. And it's uh, a perfect little abominable snowman. Abominable. 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 <laughs> abominable snowman. Abominable snowman. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do the claws. Okay. These are wonderful examples of claws. Right here. Look at that. So expressive. Nice big claws. All right, so let's do curved hands like this and then a nail. And then, see, it's like a sort of a zigzag line, but it's like doing the zigzag line, but on a curvy way. So it ends up looking like a finger with a nail at the end. And it can be longer or shorter. This first one is like a thumb, so this one has to like point down or be a little separate from the rest to make it look better as an arm. See, the thumb is going this way, and then the three are together. If you want to do a four finger, you can also do five fingers if you like. Okay. So four or five that's up to you all right so at this time I'm going to start doing a little bit of fur coming this way in the middle and then I'm gonna do another layer coming like so here and then I'm gonna start sketching my 
legs. So let's sketch the legs now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little zigzag line coming down and they can be a little bit different some can like longer or stockier legs this one is incredible look how long and awesome and the finger and the toes here and the toes turning this way i love it so yeah let's make a nice little long line like just like this put it here and let's put the toes one big one two three four let's do four and then do a little bit four on top like that okay and the other one can be pointing to the front one two three four five like that okay now we can give him a little bit more fur wherever you like add more fur like so especially here at the ends you want to have some fur here and here at the legs and adding adding more fur to him okay and the next part is the funnest part we are going to cover color with some markers or pencils we'll color his face here blue like so and his it's just kind of like um lighter blue but you can do indigo blue too this is more turquoise green blue blue green and you want to add some blue to his legs and maybe some effects on his fur just wherever you like you think it's going to i added more lines here going to look good like the shadow is hitting the snowy snow covered fur that your abominable snowman has nicely snow covered fur that your abominable snowman is covered in like so for shades and of course the best part you're gonna see in the video in the next video that's gonna be coloring everything uh, in glitter but before we get to the glitter part let's do some snowflakes so a simple snowflake it's like a cross and then a diagonal X through the middle and I just put like a dot on the end and a V signs. So V, a V and a dot, a V and a dot, sort of like V and a dot, dots here, a few lines here. But each snowflake is different, so you can do your snowflake any way you like. You can try another type of snowflake, like this kind, and it's all even. And then you can have just few of the little V shapes in the middle like so okay so try different snowflakes we are going to glitter them up so they're not going to show as good so you can mess up on this part the snowflakes are the easy part oh and i forgot i wanted us to paint um some background so why don't we do some mountain and a zigzag line for the snow cap and a mountain in the background zigzag line for a snow cap another mountain zigzag line and we're gonna make a little curvy road for him to walk on snowy snow colored covered maybe some snow is just hanging out here on the side of the road where we can put glitter and maybe
be another mountain in his background here behind his back showing that he is in high in Himalayas and maybe a few more snowflakes like so hanging out in here you take your time I'm just hurrying up because the video is already 15 minutes long so this is where we are in part one and I can't wait to see your abominable snowmans here in our Miss Kramer's art class. And I'll see you in our next video on how to glitter him up. Have fun. Now is your turn.